please do subscribe to our channel for more videos click on the bell button for notification yeah welcome today and i want to talk about something very remarkable i want to talk about politics politics in the sense that i want to evaluate between two candidates today so to start up we're looking at Shawere, the 47 years old founder of sahara reporters who is um, a nigerian and who stays in united states of america where he does his media business he's been able to disrupt the airways media wise for quite a while right now and he's a name that you could reckon with and i want to evaluate him with um alongside our present president as not a person but president muhammad buhari this is a man who has been the head of state in this country before i think 1983 to 1985 and um, he is a name to reckon with for a very long time he's been in the political scene not being president minister of petroleum and not being president and um, he's been a minister and a whole lot of things and he's always contesting and this time around he became a democratic president and he's been doing very well to the best of my knowledge and to the best of his ability and as much as a whole of scandal surrounding him, him being a poster and a whole of things, but uh, there is no proof or concrete evidence to that fact, so we cannot lay hold on it. I want to put them side by side. Shawari is a, an MS, uh, MSc holder, that's a master's degree holder, and um, he's a young person who is vibrant with digital um, technocrats with dig digital know-how, with digital mind and with digital brain. What am I trying to say? He's told us in a whole lot of videos how he will digitalize Nigeria and use technology to cop corruption. He use technology to take out a whole lot of things that are quite irregular in this country. Okay, citing the, for instance, he, he talked about power, how to put steady power in Nigeria and generate about 30,000 megawatts um, of power that um, will help give us steady light 24 hours in Nigeria. He talked about using solar as one of the approach to it and um, sounds beautiful, but do you think is he will be able to do all that? Do you think Sobari will be able to execute all that he has said? Do you think all the people in Nigeria will let him do that? Let's say he will be able to do that. Let's give him a benefit of that because I don't really believe in when people say he has no experience. He has never been president before. So how would you know if, uh, how would he now be, have experience of something that has not become? So he needs to be a president before having the experience. So not having a, an experience is actually a concrete reason why we should push him away. Now what about Buhari? Buhari has been on the seat for four years now. And um, I think May 29 will make him four years on the seat. And he's been the president of Nigeria. And um, a whole lot of things they promised to do. Him and his people and his team. Steady light. One dollar to one naira. Too numerous to mention. And um, we're just seeing nothing. I know some people will argue with that he's done so well. So numerously well. In their ideology of thought that is not visible to the layman. What we understand in Nigeria is Jonathan was selling for 65 naira and at the time it went to 84 naira, stand to be corrected, or 85 naira. Then Buhari came and made it to 145 naira. What the layman understands is how much he buys fuel. He does not understand the, 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 the calculation and the mathematics behind, behind subsidy and all that. What he, what he cares about is how much fuel gets to him. So in any way you deliver fuel so affordable to him, you're a good president. That is the reason why people are calling Jonathan. Jonathan's era was nice, was more nice than Buhari's. We do not. The layman do not understand what goes on behind the economy. What we need is a stable economy. And do you think Buhari the other day made a public declaration or request that if he's given another four years, he's going to do better? Do you think that's true? Do you think he needs another four years to prove a point that he didn't prove in four years? And I watched an interview or a broadcast he made. He, he talked about that he knew he did not actually do well. That a whole lot of things people expected from him, he was not able to meet them. And he needs more time to. <sighs> so let's say he accepted that he actually failed. And failing a class means you repeat a class. 
So is he actually going to repeat the class with another four years? Or are we going to withdraw him from the class by demoting him to a lower class? I don't know. The comment section is there for you to say something. Tell us what you think. Express yourself anyhow you want it. But please keep the hate word away. Please. Please. Share your opinions without insulting anybody. Share your opinions without making a head speech. It's not allowed somehow because people's image are involved. And um, to all the guys who will be expecting Kingsley Mogalo article in our next video, we'll actually deal and talk about them. Thank you and keep watching. Please make sure you do subscribe to this channel. Very important. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notifications of videos of this kind. And also, put your comment below. Like this video, share to as many people as possible. Let's get involved with national issues. If you don't get involved, we'll always suffer bad governance. Thank you and keep watching. Bye for now.